to sing, to help me cope with everything. So very good afternoon. I'm going to take you to my dreamer's paradise. That is why I sang this song. I have a dream, a song to sing. We all have dreams. We all have dreams. and We are engineers. But some of us, amidst us, have unconventional dreams. We have dreams that might not fit into the regular societal norms. So how do you go about these dreams? What are the rules that you have to follow in this game? This is what I'm going to explain. Always put your parents first. You have to convince your parents what your passion is. Now when I say this, I'm not saying without any proof or without any backgrounds that I can't tell you things that I have not experienced. So I wanted to be a speaker and a year before, two years before, I just faked telling people, Hi, I'm Amala. Uh, I'm a speaker. I like speaking. I just faked it that way. Because someone told me that Fake, fake it till you fake it. Make it. Mm -hmm. So what happened is, um, two years back, I started my struggle to be a speaker. I started uh, coaching myself, like I started listening to different kinds of speakers, the uh, different styles. I tried to figure out what is my style. So initially I tried out all those radio jokey kind of talking, like the loose talk things. I figured out that's not at all my style. I come from a naval background, my dad was in defense, so we come from a very formal training. That was not our kind of talking. Then I realized I was very formal speaker, but that didn't really entertain people. So I had to get a mix of both, like the loose talking part, the formal part and entertainment part. So then I figured out and then one fine day I happened to hear about a competition called Speak for India. It was conducted by Madhur Bhumi and it was randomly announced in our assembly and we just managed to uh, make it um, till the districts. And then 2018 last I had just faked it to my friends again, faked it that uh, Chumma, just like that, I just faked it. Something happened and then 2018 end, December, my photo did come on the front page of Madhurabhumi in Palakkad district. Now, I'm not telling that the good part about it is not that my photo came in the paper. The part is, A, you have to believe in what you like. You have to work for what you like. You cannot just sit on that chair and just simply dream. If you don't coach yourself, if you don't train yourself for what you love, you cannot get to that position. If you want to be a doctor, if you want to be an engineer, you know you have to go for an entrance coaching. You have to take a year off. But when you have an unconventional dream, you need to have the same plan, the same working plan for that unconventional dream. People are not going to support you. But if you, if you be successful, 10 years after, the same people are going to look at you and tell you, Oh, they will change their words. Two years before when I said I wanted to be a speaker, people laughed at me because at that time almost all the girls in Kochi were like modeling. I want to go for modeling, I want to do in media, I want to media studies. So my parents also took it very light. But two years after now when I came in the newspaper, when I started getting uh, offers in some online channels for doing some episodes and all that, now my parents understand how serious I was about my dream. So you have to convince your parents by your hard work how important that dream and passion is for you. Then the next rule number two is making two different kinds of friends. One are repellers, two is like-minded ones. The like-minded ones are the ones who know and who see the magic just the way you do. Like when you do things that you love, you see and sense a certain kind of magic and you cannot explain it to anyone else. Now, if I want to be a speaker, you want to be a dancer, it's fine. But you have a magic, I have a magic, it's two different things. So go with the like-minded ones. They are going to lead you in the progressive direction. So have those kind of friends. Then the repeller kind of friends who claim that your dream, achieve, achieving that dream is worthless. Have them also because they are going to keep on pointing you what are the flaws in your dreams and what are the flaws in what you're going for. So that is going to help you improve. You have to work on those flaws. So these two kinds of friends, the repellers and the like-minded ones, two kinds of friends you have to make. So the first point was convince your parents about your passion. 
the second one was having the two different kinds of dreams okay i think my time is done uh, hope you enjoy what i spoke thank you